There's also another new um, law that is that passed that has to do with like pharmacies and the you know the the little medication labels that uh, are in English. I know that if those little labels are in English, it's very hard to understand. But the department, um, the pharmacy board, is now looking at how to make those labels more understandable and actually maybe even try to have them translated. So they're taking comments to that. And I'm going to be leaving some surveys with KRC so that you could, um, they could try to help you fill it out so that you can tell the pharmacy board that you want it in certain, you want the, the, the labels translated, you know, into your language. So those are some of the, the requirements that, um, are in, on the state level. Um, and so when you look, you know, what kind of rights you have, very often it's easiest to try to figure out who to go to to complain, depending on who is um, where you're going. So that if you're going to, like, a, um, a, a medical office, you know that they receive federal funds, and so you know that they have to comply with Title VI. Or if you... Um, uh, go to a state agency like a state program where they don't get federal funds, you know that you can use that government code I was telling you about to say that you have a right. Or if it's a private plan, you, you have that new requirement under SBA 53. So, so it's very important who is, who is in charge of that program to figure out when you want to try to um, file a complaint or, or, or go and try to get your service. And so... Um, the other thing is there's some different steps you can take when you're having problems. I think you're very, it's, you're very lucky because KRC is very responsive and you can go to them when you have a problem. There's also other um, uh, uh, agencies that can help you. There's the Health Consumer Center at the Neighborhood Legal Services who can also help you if you're having problems. And there's some representatives that you'll hear from in a moment uh, about that. Uh, and so, you know, you could try to... Uh, I think when, when others were encouraging you to go to wherever you're having problems and try to file some complaint, that is very important to make sure that it's written down and so there's a record and you know, you know, if they start seeing that there's many complaints, then that will be a pattern and they will have to address that problem. Our office has helped different um, um, patients and, and agencies file complaints with Michael's office, the Office for Civil Rights, so that if there's, you know, a, a serious problem, we can try to address it on a larger level. And finally, there's just, I included some different telephone numbers that you can call if you're having problems. There's some numbers if you're, you know, there's, I put the OCR number on there. Also, if you're having problems with your managed care plan, there's a there's a HMO hotline that you can call when you're having complaints getting an interpreter. And and finally, I just wanted to let you know that there are efforts because um, to try to get funding to pay for interpreters and translation of services because one of the issues is that a lot of providers, a lot of doctors, officers, hospitals say, oh, we can't provide these services because we can't pay for it. And so there's some of us that are working on a statewide level to try to get the de State Department of Healthcare Services to get some federal matching funds to pay for these services. And so there was a... Um, a task force that was created, uh, the Medi-Cal Language Access Services Task Force, that we came, we were meeting for the last couple of years, and we have a recommendation for the state, and we're talking to the state to try to get some money so that we can pay for these services so people won't have to pay it for it for themselves and will help the doctors and the hospitals and the other providers pay for these services. So I will be working with KRC to give you more information when we maybe need you to write um, the governor's office or maybe write uh, the legislators in, in Sacramento. Anyway, so I'm going to, that, that about ends my presentation and we're going to I'm looking forward to hearing about your questions, and then maybe we can try to come up with some solutions. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. Um, as I was hearing panelists' comments, I was really impressed by their knowledge 
and detailed explanation, as well as their commitment from different government and agencies that they're not just sitting there, not doing anything, but they try to work with the community and put their effort in it. So KRC, community health promoters, and everyone here really appreciate their effort. Uh, one thing that I would like to mention that hearing panelists' comments and remarks, that I guess the language access is uh, our right, and we, uh, it's protected by law, either uh, federal level, state level, or local level, that it's given to us. So I guess that was clear from the presentation. And also, I would like to make a quick um, question to Mr. Shinov that I am really well familiar with the uh, BMI project, and I was just wondering that uh, currently, the project is funded through uh, grant money, and there, I, I wasn't sure about uh, secure funding, so I was just wondering whether that project will continue with the um, interpreters that you hired uh, as of now. We have to find a way to make that continue. Uh, so the, there so is the answer no, is yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. That will be really great news because a lot of Korean <laughs> uh, let me let me just explain because the Department of Health Service provides this uh, BMI uh, program, which any Korean patient can go to four county, four different county hospitals to get uh, interpreting services, and we really appreciate that. And also, I just wanted to um, thank uh, Mr. Uh, Browning for mentioning that uh, DPSS is trying really hard, which we already knew, and also it's going to be happening soon, and maybe end of this year. So we really appreciate uh, their effort. DPSS has been having meeting with KRC and uh, uh, our seniors for a year, and it's not just we're meeting at this town hall, but we've been built relationship, and we try hard work together to find out the problems. So I just wanted to uh, say thank you. And also um, for uh, Michael, Jerry, and Dorina providing us uh, thorough knowledge and uh, explanation on our legal rights. And um, 